Hey guys, thank you for joining me for another video. Uh, I think you may be familiar with this subject if you've seen any of uh, my previous videos. I'm drawing yet another Borzoi, uh, again using the Strathmore 500 series mixed media um, and again using that textured side. Uh, this time it um, the piece is all about a quick ink work followed by wet on wet method of painting. So it's all about the quickest and uh, th sort of the least stressful way of getting an ink piece painted. Now this probably wouldn't work as well using a very smooth paper. Smooth paper is not nearly as forgiving and it doesn't allow the paint to move and granulate the way you would expect it to. So if you are sort of, you know, drawing along, if you want to give something similar a try then I would recommend a cold press paper so something with a slight texture so initially what I'm doing is I'm using a red lead to just sketch out the initial um, face of the dog um, I think I mentioned this in my charcoal video I'm really obsessed with these borzoi um, dogs uh, I think they're just incredibly elegant um, and I've just been doodling them, I think, non-stop recently. So I tend to start my pieces with that red lead, which is quite easy to rub off, and it just doesn't show through the way graphite would, and it, it, it doesn't muddy up the colors the way graphite would. So uh, if you don't have a red lead in, um, you know, mechanical pencil, just get yourself a color pencils, and, and, and it would probably achieve the same purpose. Um, so after just drawing out the face, I went over it with a waterproof dark brown ink. It's a Noodler ink. They have different types and I made sure to choose something that was really light um, waterproof because I'll be using quite a bit of water over this piece. So just with a dip pen, I quickly went in, added all the details. I think the important thing is to make it almost look like something out of a coloring book. So not too complicated, but it really breaks up the face um, and the head into its components.
So following the initial sketch and inking, I used my limited palette uh, to then just mix some colors. I again wasn't too stressed about what sort of colors I was using. I just wanted to get some of the values down. And then I went over the piece just with quick, uh, quick um, uh, washes. I added as much paint and water as I wanted and predominantly I focused on having the paint move around a little bit so I wanted the colors to move in together to achieve some granulation and that just gives the piece um, you know a feeling of movement which is good for a creature with such long flowing hair. So you'll see me just blocking in the colors. Uh, I wanted a contrast between all that golden brown and I used, uh, I think it was, yeah, it's ultramarine blue to do that. Uh, now by using contrasting colors, you can really bring out the beauty of your 
so your browns. I think a lot of people are a bit scared um, of using browns. A lot of people don't like them, but as a wildlife artist, I, the browns are always on my palette. And to make them pop, uh, using blues or dual greens always works. I wanted to apologize here. My head is getting in the way. I think I keep apologizing about this. I keep thinking that the camera is a lot further away from my head than it actually is. So I'm sorry about that. So I'm using a treckle, I think it's a size six brush initially just to dab in all the colors and then I'm coming back with a size four brush for uh, the detail work. And I am waiting a little bit, I think, between washes to allow the paint to dry, but not too long. I'm still after that uh, wet on wet um, method. And I think you'll notice that I didn't add nearly as much detail as I could have. I didn't really need to, to be honest. That was the, the point of the inking. I think you don't need to add as much paint. You don't need to worry about it as much when you've initially put down the ink piece. It basically shows everything I wanted to show uh, without me spending a ridiculous amount of time just refining it. And so I really recommend this method to anybody starting out. Try and ink your piece first and then that will take the stress away from you regarding the colors, regarding how much paint you need to add and just how much time you have to spend. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you do have any questions, please leave me a comment and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Um, I'm not too sure if I'll be in Sydney when you see this. I might actually still be in Europe, but I will check the feed and I will definitely uh, respond to any comments. In the meantime, take care and I'll speak to you later.